There are a few ways that you'll see this kind of question. One of them is that you'll be asked to evaluate the function for the given value of x. Another way is that you'll be given a value, in this case x equals 2, and you'll be told what f of x equals. So here f of x equals x squared plus 2x plus 1. So all you have to do here, they're telling you that x equals 2. So wherever you see an x, just replace it with 2. You're just plugging it in. Go ahead and put parentheses whenever you replace the x. Just make a habit of that. It'll help you when you have negatives. So that's 2 squared plus 2 times 2 plus 1. And now all you have to do is simplify. 2 squared is 4 plus 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1. So here, you have 9, and that's your answer. So what if instead of 2, you had 0? You just do the exact same thing here. Everywhere you have an x, replace it with 0. You have 0 squared plus 2 times 0, plus 1. So that equals 0 plus 0 plus 1, which equals 1, and that's your answer. So let's say you had negative 4 now. It's going to be the same process. Just replace every x with negative 4. And here is why you want to write x in parentheses. Because if you didn't, if you just had negative 4 squared, that's really the same as saying negative 16. The negative sign doesn't go away. But if you keep parentheses around negative 4 and keep the exponent on the outside of the parentheses, now that's the same as saying negative 4 times negative 4, which equals positive 16. You have two negatives here, and that's why they go away. They cancel each other out and become positive. So going back to the question, make sure you keep the negative numbers in parentheses. 2 times negative 4 plus 1. So when you simplify this, you got 16 plus negative 8 plus 1. And then you can simplify it a little more. 16 minus 8 plus 1. And that becomes 8 plus 1. 16 minus 8 becomes 8, and then plus 1. So you have 9, and that's your answer here. And now, what if you have a fraction? Let's say 1 half. You do the same thing. You take that 1 half and you plug it into all the x's. Plug it into every value of x. So you replace all the x's with 1 half. So x squared becomes 1 half squared plus 2 times 1 half, plus 1. When squaring this fraction, you're going to square the top and the bottom at the same time. So that becomes 1 squared over 2 squared. 1 squared is 1, and 2 squared is 4. So your answer up here is 1 over 4. And now what about this part? You have 2 times 1 half. Whenever you have 2 just by itself, that's really the same as implying that 2 is over 1. You just simplify it to 2. So 2 over 1 is the same as 2. So you can rewrite this part up here. Rewrite it like this, 2 over 1 times 1 over 2. This 2 cancels out with that 2. And so this whole thing, all you have left are 1s. So 1 times 1 and 1 times 1. It just equals 1. So over here, this becomes plus 1. And then you just bring down this plus 1. So now you have 1 over 4 plus 2. So here you just need to get common denominators. 
the denominator here is 4. So you have your 2 over 1. You multiply the denominator by 4. And what you do on the bottom, you do on the top. So you multiply the numerator by 4 as well. So this part on the top, this becomes 8. 2 times 4 is 8. And 1 times 4 is 4. So let's just bring this down here. You have 1 over 4 plus 8 over 4. Now that they have the same denominator, you can just rewrite it over here. The denominator won't change anymore. So 1 plus 8 is 9, and that's your answer. What if instead of just a pure number, you got a variable like this, t minus 1? You still follow the same process. Basically, everything here is going to replace x. So instead of f of x, you have f of t minus 1 equals, and then just replace this x, so you have t minus 1 in parentheses squared, plus 2 times t minus 1 plus 1. So now all you do is simplify. You're going to FOIL this part out. You have t minus 1 and t minus 1. Your first term is going to be t times t. Your outside term is going to be t times negative 1. So t times negative 1. Your inside term is going to be negative 1 times t. And your last term is going to be negative 1 times negative 1. When you simplify this part out, t times t is t squared, t times negative 1 is negative t, and again, negative 1 times t is negative t. Negative 1 times negative 1 is 1. And now you can combine the two middle terms. You got t squared minus 2t plus 1. So that's what we're going to put up here. t squared minus 2t plus 1. Now for the second part over here, all you have to do is distribute the 2 to both terms. So 2 times t is going to be 2t, and 2 times negative 1 is going to be negative 2. And then finally you just bring down this plus 1. So now you're going to combine like terms where you can. There's only one term where it's squared, so t squared comes down. Negative 2t can be combined with positive 2t, and they cancel each other out, so they're gone. All that's left now are the terms without variables. 1 minus 2 and plus 1 also cancel each other out, because you have 2 minus 2. So your answer is going to be t squared, before you simplify, plus 0t plus 0. Your simplified answer is just going to be t squared. Let's do one more. This time, x is going to be a plus 2. And f of x is going to be 1 over 9 times x plus 12. So again, all you have to do is take this part, a plus 2. And plug it in wherever you find an x. That's going to be f of a plus 2 equals 1 ninth a plus 2 plus 12. When you simplify this, all you have to do is distribute the 1 ninth into both terms there. So that's going to be 1 ninth a plus 1 ninth times 2 plus 12. When you simplify that, you have 1 ninth a, and the 2 here can just come over here because it's 1 times 2, and they're both on the numerator. So that's going to be 2 over 9 plus 12. Now over here we need common denominators. The denominator is 9, so we need a 9 on the bottom here. This is 12 over 1. You'll multiply the bottom by a 9 and the top by a 9. 
So 12 times 9 is 108. And the denominator will be 9. So let's bring everything down here. 1 ninth a plus 2 over 9 plus 108 over 9. So let's bring this part down again. 1 over 9 times a. And then here, 2 and 108, when you add them together, you get 110 over 9. And that's going to be your answer here. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe for more videos.